Buongiorno e complimenti per il film. Eh, volevo sapere, ehm, la musica che è stata utilizzata per la colonna sonora eh, nasconde comunque una ricerca specifica, soprattutto per quanto riguarda i film di guerra. Eh, come si è svolta questa ricerca e come avete scelto le varie canzoni? Grazie. Well, I, I love the films uh, that those, those songs are sort of uh, inspired by, for me, in terms of the soundtrack, like, um, you know, Apocalypse Now, Platoon, and, uh, Deer Hunter, Full Metal Jacket, and they all have the music of the era. And for me, uh, what I wanted to do was sort of an, uh, evoke uh, the feeling of those movies, but without really using any of the specific songs from any of those films. Um, but uh, for me, like, Sympathy for the Devil is just, you know, that classic... Rolling Stones uh, Vietnam era song. I think that's used in Coming Home which in a really amazing way. But I, that's, I think, the only song that I was aware of that was actually used in another Vietnam era movie. Uh, but I just wanted to have that feeling of that soundtrack. Though, you know, for, I think for a younger audience, they, they won't really get that level of it. But for people um, my age, you know, hopefully they can reference that. And it was really fun to do that. And to, to uh, also the score was really important to me that the score sort of worked on a real level and it felt like uh, an actual dramatic action movie score uh, when it needed to be. Buongiorno. Okay. Um, questo film è molto graffiante, molto politically incorrect. Allora volevo sapere, eh, da una parte c'è una sorta di, di, di umorismo alla Mad Magazine degli anni 70-80 e da una parte invece forse c'è questa Hollywood che si è guardata allo specchio piena di, di dolcezza, di falsità e che forse non si è piaciuta ecco, vorrei che, che mi dicesse un pochino come com era l'umorismo qui e, e il ruolo di Ethan Cohen esattamente che a quanto pare è arrivato per ultimo ma ha dato una botta finale e come l'ha presa Hollywood perché a me sembra che Tom Cruise sia un po' Katzenberg nel film o sbaglio, grazie <laughs> oh wow, that's the first I've heard on that one. Um, uh, well, the tone of the movie for me, the humor, I wanted it to sort of um, have its own tone and have it really be able to go uh, into a few different areas. So on a certain level there's obviously like the satiric, um, self-referential humor about Hollywood and, and, and movies. But I also, uh, you know, really wanted to make sure that people could connect with the characters even though they're these um, self-absorbed actors and on, on the outside it might seem like they would be hard for an audience to connect with. I really felt it was important that they were real people and that they actually had, um, there was uh, a real journey for all the characters because I feel like that's really important in any comedy, um, no matter how broad it is, you have to on some level have some sort of connection with the characters because once you start the movie uh, it, can be, it can be funny but at, you know, 15 or 20 minutes into the movie and anybody wants to follow us, Every, anybody who goes to a movie wants to follow a story and be connected. So um, I wanted to have a, hopefully a few different um, types of humor going on in the film and uh, you know the, um, the broader stuff is there. I, 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 hopefully there's um, also just humor you would get if you don't know anything about, you know, there's, there's physical comedy, there's um, I think uh, just sort of uh, the humor based on the character interactions. You know, for me a lot of my favorite scenes in the movie are the scenes with the guys around the campfire. Uh, where they're just, you know, talking to each other, it's just character interaction. Um, and uh, I, I don't know if you said Ethan Cohen, it's, e it's Ethan Cohen who's not the Ethan, Joel and Ethan Cohen, it's a different one, but if that's what you meant, I'm not sure. Um, but, uh, if, so for me, that's what I wanted. I wanted it to have its own tone, you know, for me, movies that I've always enjoyed over the years sort of, uh, you know, just didn't worry about sort of saying where this is, it's one kind of movie or another in terms of the genre. And by the nature of the movie, I think it sort of crosses a couple of different genres, which is, I think is okay if, if people can, you know, as long as it's consistent in what the tone is for the movie. Io vorrei sottolineare questa cosa perché l'ho letta spesso recentemente, appunto che eh, il signor Cohen non è uno dei fratelli Cohen, è scritto in modo leggermente diverso, però è un equivoco nel quale sono caduti molti colleghi. Prego. Ciao, ciao Ben. Eh, buongiorno, sono Paolo Travesi di Set Gold. Volevo, volevo chiederti se c'è un, un comico, un, un attore comico nel passato, nel passato che ha influenzato il tuo modo di recitare, il tuo, tuo stile di recitazione 
e un'altra cosa volevo chiederti manca qui nel film un compagno di avventure che ti ha seguito spesso in molti film Owen Wilson volevo chiederti il motivo um, in terms of uh, comics from the past I mean for me uh, you know just growing up uh, watching uh, people like Bill Murray and Steve Martin and uh, those guys were, uh, you know, Albert Brooks' movies, those guys were, for me, they were my, um, the guys I watched when I was growing up and loved movies, everything from like Ghostbusters to Caddyshack, um, uh, you know, those were, those were the guys that I wanted to, that made me want to get into comedy. Um, and, uh, you know, and Owen, uh, I think we'll work together a lot, hopefully in the future, but um, he just wasn't available at the time we were making the movie. Maria Pia. Uh, volevo sapere, il film uh, naturalmente si fa gioco di tante categorie, se è arrabbiato qualcuno, per esempio i veterani di guerra oppure, che ne so, associazioni di handicappati? Uh, not really, I mean there, um, there was some, there was a little something that happened in the States in terms of um, uh, a certain group, but nothing from veterans, and I think it was because it's pretty clear in the movie that the sense of humor, um, or the point of view of the humor, is all uh, really uh, referencing actors, and it's really actors uh, making fun of the actors' ignorance and what actors will do and what lengths they'll go to to, um, uh, to be taken seriously. So for me, it was really important when we were making the movie that that was very clear in terms of uh, Robert Downey's character, where you know he's an Australian, uh, you know, white Australian actor playing a black American uh, character. It had to be very clear that this was a you know an actor with a big ego who was doing something he probably shouldn't do. Uh, it was that that to me was always where the the focus of the humor was was on the actors and the world of movie making and and those excesses and and those wrong decisions. And uh, so I, I feel like that was that's pretty clear to people I think when they see the movie. Um, 